Right, folks, how are we all? 18th of June, 20 past the four. Um, uh, not done a cider review, not done any alcohol, oh, have I? I can't remember, to be fair. Um, I seem to have lost track of YouTube at the moment. I don't know what I'm doing, what I'm saying, who I'm offending, who I'm not offending, who agree with me, who whatever, really. Um, where it is. Now, I was in Morrison's the other day, and um, I do like a cider. I do like a drop of cider. Now and again, um, it's there. So anyway, I found these. Yeah, look at these. These little beauties. Hmm. Now, I've just had a quick look at my history, uh, and I've reviewed Henry Weston's cider, vintage cider, and I've reviewed Henry, Went Henry Weston's slowly matured Perry cider. Um, so, this is the medium dry aged vintage. This is the medium dry British vintage. Oh, look at that. Offending Union Jack or Union flag on the bottom there. And then I've got the medium dry organic cider. Um, and so. So um, I thought I'd give them a go. I, like I say, I didn't think I reviewed them. I couldn't remember reviewing them. Um, so I thought I'd give it a go. Look at that, 11 years ago, 11,000 views for a fucking cider video. Uh, so anyway, um, I thought I'd give them a go and uh, do them all in one go if I can, if that's all right with you. Now, please, people, please drink responsibly. Um, it's not big and it's not clever to drink ciders like I'm going to do in the next fucking God knows how many minutes. Um, so... Henry Weston's medium dry aged vintage uh, deep and rich long finish. Um, it's a 6.5% and it's in a 550. Let's put it in this one. So pour this in here so you can see I'm pouring it. Don't want people thinking I've not. Uh, Done it. Ooh, what have they got on? Win vintage summer moments. Right. That smells quite good to be fair. Because you can get a sweet scent of cider, can't you? And I'm not into the sweet ones. I do like a medium or a dry. I prefer the dry ones to be fair. Uh, because I think they've got more taste. Drinking the sweet side is sometimes becomes sickly, don't it? All these bloody strong bows and stuff, and they just become sickly, and they're just no good. So let me, uh, I don't know how much this worth. I think it was three bottles for a fiver. Let me tuck in. Ooh. That was nice. That was really, really nice. That was really good. I'm <laughs> well impressed. It, it Once again, it's one of those simple ciders that is quite easy to drink on a nice hot day like it is at the moment. Bit cloudy, bit overcast, but that was really really good now moving on uh, we'll save the organic one uh, right Henry Weston's medium dry this one's a 7.3 percent in a 500 millimeter millimeter film 500 milliliter bottle uh, we're giving you the chance to win daily prizes include a thousand pound cash to help you create classic summer memories with friends uh, and family in true Henry Weston style. Whether it's the ultimate BBQ, luxury picnic or move it, blah, blah, blah. Um, right, all right, let's just read a bit of the bottle. Uh, 
contains sulfites to preserve freshness, suitable for vegetarians, vegans and coliacs. Um, avoid alcohol if pregnant. I'm not pregnant. I'm not one of them trendy new people that's a man who can have a woman, uh, can have a baby. A man who can have a woman. A man who is a woman. Right. I'm just a normal bloke, really. Oh, Wixes. Who's going to go shopping in Wixes? Are you still going to go and buy your paint in Wixes? Because he doesn't care, does he? Bubbles up my nose, <laughs> says Michael Jackson. Well, they don't say fuck all now, does he? The vintage dry has got a better smell. It's it smells more cidery, more applesy, but I don't mean sweet, sickly. Anyway, let's get into this one. I prefer the smell of that one, but I prefer the taste of that one. Mmm, very nice. I do like a Henry Westerns to be fair. There are there are far there are, uh, back in my day I used to drink dry blackthorn. In the summertime I'd have dry blackthorn. In the wintertime I'd probably have a Guinness or a a lager of some shitty sort because I didn't know any different um, but in the summer I do prefer a cider and I used to just have dry blackthorn because all the other ones were a bit sickly sweet yeah Str uh, wood what's the woodpecker one yeah it is woodpecker isn't it I, I weren't keen on that I used to like dry blackthorn so that's what I had and these are very very good I don't think cider should be sweet, really. Um, right, this is the organic, <coughs> excuse me, medium dry organic cider, rich and fruity with honey notes. It's got a no finger head. Ooh. Don't like the smell of that. Uh, just seeing what's in it. No. Get into this one. Ooh. No. Smells of eggs. Don't like that. It's got a I don't like that. No, sorry, Henry. Um, sorry, H, HW to his mates. Um, I don't like that one. It's it's got a sulfury. You know when <laughs> this is going to sound fucking ridiculous, 
But you know when somebody lets a, uh, a stink bomb off at school, and somebody used to let them off, I don't go to school anymore, obviously. Um, not like some of the fucking weirdos here now. Um, well, dress up as a woman and go and read a story, couldn't I? Um, I can remember once we had uh, this thing, this summer thing, uh, at the school. And um, in the tuck room, they, had a, the, they turned one of the maths room into a tuck shop. And uh, somebody let a stink bomb off and it awful, real, real bad. Um, it reminds me of that. It really does remind me of a stink bomb. Sorry, no. That was terrible. That was, unless that's a bad drink, unless that's a bad bottle that's gone off, I wouldn't touch that one again. No, nowhere near. It did stink. That absolutely. No, not for me. No way, no, no way. Jose, um, you, that has got, I, I mean, Henry Weston's, or if anybody else has tried this organic one, yeah, if anybody's tried that, um, yeah. Is that focused in? If anybody's tried that, let me know what you think, because I think that smells of sulfury eggs kind of thing. Not impressed at all, keeping away from that ever again. It smells like a fart, so. So, uh, it's gonna be a toss off, toss up, between the medium dry age vintage and the medium dry British vintage. Um, obviously, I suppose it's the apples that they've used. Um, sorry folks, I thought it was rain. I've got to go and get the washing in if it starts to rain. Um, so it's a toss up between these two. Yeah. I do like that one. Well, first things first, if you're in Morrison's, <clears throat> if you're in Morrison's and they're doing three for a fiver, pick these two red, uh, pick, pick the two vintage ones up um, because they're both outstanding. <coughs> oh, fucking hell. They're a bit gassy though. Which is the best? And I'm going to struggle here because I like them both. Um, I think I might go with the British vintage, to be fair, because it's just that little bit drier. If you like a dry uh, cider, that is the one to go for. Um, if it was a Tory party, yeah, if the Conservatives were holding a, a party during lockdown, I'm sure they could all quaff some of this back quite well. Um, Yes, it's going to be the British, uh, medium dry British uh, vintage. Um, it's, 
it's just got it just a little bit it's just a little bit better in my humble opinion because i'm a very humble man um it, 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 it's just got that little bit more dryness and the and I, but I do prefer the smell of this one, but there you go, you see. You're not, you're not smelling them, are you? You're drinking them. So you probably, yeah, it, this is the winner for me. This is my... Absolutely amazing. Um, I don't know what they've gone wrong. I don't know why they've made that organic stuff. I don't know who... Uh, who um... Henry Westons, if you do actually watch this, I am interested to know if that was um, a bad batch. Um, the last four serial numbers on the thing is 1777. Uh, so 1777. Um, I'm just a bit sad about that one because I did I did like that I did like a Henry Westons and or oh, is it that one you need oh shit I don't know what the bloody things are well the use by date is 05 04 2025 and it's L3 uh, or fourteen fifteen. that's when it was made <sighs> So, um, yeah, I, I'm, I'll be interested to see if that is a, is a screw up because I, I like Henry Weston's ciders. I think they're really, really good, but that organic, pff, keep away. <sighs> Cheers all, hey ladies. Right, folks, so if this has gone correct, and you lot are sitting on top of the biscuit barrel uh, straight. Um, I have just reviewed some um, Westons, Henry Westons uh, organic cider. I bought three, can't remember what they were. It was a good few weeks ago. Today's date is the 6th of July um, at uh, quarter past four. Um, so what it was, I drank the organic cider and it tasted off. It was awful. I still drank it like an idiot because once you pop one, you've got to carry on. Uh, so anyway, I sent a message. I had a quick look on YouTube. And uh, a couple of lads had done all. Who I watch now and again. Um, so I sent a message to Simo Subs. And um, he laughed at me. <laughs> he said, sounds like you might be... Uh, uh, might be good pals with the loo in the morning um, because I did actually drink it. He said he's had it a few times uh, and it goes down far too quickly and that wasn't going down quickly. Uh, I also sent... Oh, for f why does it do that? Why does it go back to the beginning? Uh, I also um, sent a message to I've had worse. He's okay as well. I like watching him. No drama with him. He's or he just drinks his beer and that's it. Does a review. Fucking fine. Um, so I said, I've just had a bottle of this and it smelt like a stink bomb and tasted worse. Must have had a bad bottle. And he says, sounds so. I found a vinegary acid funk with good ciders, but sulfurous stink bombs. That's uh, that goes has to go down as a bad seal. Um, not a. <laughs> seal uh, on the whole he finds Henry Weston's to be fairly consistent and I do as well Henry Weston's is a good cider I do enjoy them and all that but that one was naff anyway I was in Morrison's the other day oh dear I was in Morrison's the other day and um, I thought, well, I'll give it another go because surely it can't be, it can't mean to taste that bad. It was just horrible. So I'm giving Henry Weston's another chance because when all said and done, things do go wrong. 
um, things do go wrong and um, that's how it goes, you know? So, pop it, pour it, pop it and pour it. Got a no finger head. It certainly doesn't smell as bad as the last one. I know that. Let's uh, let's dive into uh, take two. That's better. That's what I was after the first time. Now I've not watched the video. It's on my MacBook still. Oh, bugger off then. It's on my MacBook still. I didn't want to watch that and be... be impaired. But this tastes a proper cider now. It has got a... more of an apple-y taste. Do I prefer the other ones? I probably do, to be fair, because I know that the other Henry Westons are a good cider. Rich and fruity with honey notes. I'm not getting any honey notes. I'm just getting the taste of apples. Six percent organic, um, suitable for vegetarians, vegans, and coliacs. Um, yeah, I do like it, I do like it, but I think I do actually prefer the other ones more. Um, but it's, it's what you fancy, isn't it? It's what you fancy, hey, it's what you need. I do drink cider more in the summertime when the weather's fine, but the month of July isn't that good at the moment, is it? And all that climate change. Yeah, that's a better one. It goes down quite well. There's no sulfur a stink bomb smell to it. I quite like it. But I think I prefer the other ones, to be fair. Um, but what's my opinion? You lot come in here just to laugh at the big fat moon face, don't you? Very good. All right, thanks for sticking with video and all that and uh, aid us.